the Penangaland is a mythological monster in Malaysian culture. Now like many monsters, the Penangaland has many origin stories. I mean, it's a woman's flying head with her heart and lungs dangling out of her neck. It would be hard to only make one explanation for this vampiric spirit. One explanation is that a woman was praying in church and got lost in a prayer, so she got scared when someone tried to get her attention. She got so scared she turned her head around so fast it fell off. Trust me, the other theories are much more interesting. Some legends say that she was a beautiful woman who became a monster due to a demonic pack or a devilish curse. Some say she was a woman who died during childbirth or was a midwife that broke a pact with Satan to not eat meat for 40 days. If a woman were to use black magic to stay beautiful, they will turn into the monster. While it originated in Malaysia, it does exist in other countries with different names. The legend is told in every country in Southeast Asia. In Sabah, it is called Balan Balan. In Bali, it is called Layak. In Cambodia, it is called Op. It is called Kayang in Kalimantan. It is called Kursu in Thailand. And it is called Kasu in Laos. In the native languages, it is called a type of ghost. But there are some who say it cannot really be an undead creature, more of a witch that is vampiric, with one origin story saying that it was made after a woman meditated in a vat of vinegar. During the day, it is described as a beautiful and living woman, but at night, the head will detach, with the organs and spine trailing out of her. It is said that since she doesn't have the rest of her body, she can easily travel through tight areas or woods through all of the branches. She will drink the blood from babies, pregnant women, women who recently have given birth, or women who is menstruating. She will also eat new born babies. When day breaks, she will go back into her body, kind of like how an octopus would go into small openings, and it will look like a normal person. Now, the body can rot, so she has to store it in a tub of vinegar to keep it safe. So if you were to remove it and cover it with garlic and ash, she will die. You can also defend yourself with thorn bushes so it could tear up her organs if she tries to get to you. Cover your windows with garlic and she is scared of scissors. Apparently, the Penangaland's tongue is invisible and from a distance, you can only see it as a form of light. It is often confused with the Manangaland, but those are two different creatures. Hey guys, the Animal King here. Thank you guys for watching my video, and please like and subscribe, it helps more than you think. Also, if you want to request a certain video, the prices are right here for whatever you want to request. Have a good day.